Hello everyone, what's up? Well, this is your very own Pawan Singh and from Coding Solution. Welcome to Coding Solution. And today I'll be creating my seventh program based on decision and loop. And basically the program is to check whether the given character is alphabet or not. In the last program, what we did, you might be knowing if you have followed that the last program I checked whether the given integer or the number entered by the user is positive, negative or zero. But now this time I will be using the character. Okay. So in that, what is the main thing? Like uh, I will be entering, taking a character from the user, and then I will be checking whether it's an alphabet or a special character. In a special character, I will be checking afterwards. In this program, I will be just checking whether the given character is an alphabet or not. Okay. So let me start off the code just. Simply add another file, empty file. Do you want to add this file? It has to be saved first, obviously. My six programs already are there, and this is the seventh one. So, debug and release version of these. So, just give a comment. C program to check whether the given alphabets. Alpha not given character all characters hmm? every alphabet and every special character is a character hmm? but not every character is the same vice versa is not true see program to check whether the given character is an alphabet or not hmm? the next line let me add the date for today it is 2303 2016. Okay. The author is Pawan. So, before starting off with the code, I would like to just explain a few concepts regarding this. Because it is not convenient to check whether the given character is, we cannot do the comparison. Yeah. Uh, for the list of the character. So basically, some is uh, some important concept I'll be telling. I'll be telling it really slow so that it is much more understandable to each and every one of you. Okay. So you might have understood that I will be taking a character from the user and then checking whether it is an alphabet or not. So whenever a character is basically stored in a variable, yeah, the ASCII value of that character is stored instead of that character. Suppose I'm taking a variable num, huh? In that num, I'm storing storing a character called a okay so what will be happening through this yeah the actual a is not getting stored the actual capital a value would be ASCII value american standard code okay that ASCII value would be storing in the num huh? rather than the character itself so for example whenever the a is stored in a variable yeah the ASCII value of a huh? capital a would be stored instead of that number so let me tell you about the ASCII value huh? in the ASCII table the lower case alphabets are from 97 to 122 the lower case alphabets are from 97 to 122 these are lower case okay you can just note it down it would be helping in the coding itself and the uppercase letters are from 65 to 90 this is uppercase so what is from this when the a is stored in this the ASCA value that is 65 that is 65 is stored in num rather than the character a hmm? so if the ASCA value of the number is stored in between any of these two intervals suppose now how to check it now whenever I will be taking a character now so that character if the value of that character suppose i'm taking the number so in that num if the value of that num ranges between this to this and this through this okay then we will be using we will be saying that the number is a alphabet huh the alphabet the character which is stored inside the num variable it is a alphabet and if this statement doesn't comes out to be true then it is not a alphabet hmm? so let me check 
it will be becoming much more explainable much more easy let me start off the coding first okay so it's really really easy easy not very much tough so first of all let me include the header file hash include stdio sorry hash include stdio dot h okay integer main hmm. so i have to take a character cap c okay just pop up a message to the user print f enter the character to be checked hmm. so it is really easy now just take with the similar way for character it is percentile c hmm. you might already be knowing this so it is not very tough thing to understand hmm. now here comes the important part with this only one statement i will be fulfilling each and everything of this so if hmm, what we have to check i said na two statements were there i have to check whether the given value of the number the number which was written here hmm, that number lies in these two ranges two ranges i have written for the upper case and the lower case so how to do that if c the value of the character hmm, c is greater than or equal to a hmm, and c means it is greater than this value the value of c is greater than this value and c is less than or equal to z so this range from here to here this range would be fulfilling that the value of the c that both the statement has to come true so when the user enter the number then it will check it is greater than the value of 97 yes and it is less than the value of 122 or equal to 122 yes so the value comes out in this range so that the character is alphabet now the second part comes hmm i have to check another or statement there might be a possibility now that this time the value would be in this range or in the, some different range so or is used if c is greater than or equal to capital a and c is less than or equal to capital z hmm. so this is the thing okay sorry i have to enclose that this is the if both so if either of this statement comes out to be true ha huh? either of this statement comes out to be true simply we will say we will print a message to the user print f hmm percent c is an alpha bet okay and c is there the next else i will just have to print the message print f percentile c is not an alpha bet hmm. so i will be just writing c and return zero okay so you can see it was only a one line program just a one line program not much more than that but just to let you know about this concept suppose you go in the industry and you have to create a program in which such kind of statements are needed so just to explain you this kind of concept about this if and uh, in inside that if how can we make multiple conditions this is one condition this is one condition this is another condition this is also a condition this also a condition so inside that if we are using multiple conditions based on that multiple condition and the outcome of that condition i will write the statement whatever i need 
So let me save this program first, Control S, and after that I have to run this. So I will again build and run. Okay. So what is it showing? Oops, undeclared identifier. Okay. Basically, undeclared identifiers and C is less than or equal to Z. Okay, this is the thing percentile C, C, CAR C. Hmm. I'm taking the C. Hmm. If C is greater than or equal to 0 in the main function, C is undeclared. First use in this function. Okay. Let me care. Character. Okay. Let me check it. Just give a difference. And oh, that is the thing. That is the thing. Sorry. That was correct. It happens. No problem. When the error will come, then only you will be able to rectify. You see this? This is a capital C. And where what I am using for the character is small c. So just I have to check this. Control S. And again I have to build and run. You see? Enter the character to be checked. A. A is an alphabet. Okay. Continue. Let me run this again. <laughs> 